Hello and welcome to another exciting PHP lesson, this time on uh, basic math and how you would do basic math in PHP. I've got a site that I'm building right now, it's called MapDoggy and it's in involving mapping a lot of things and one of the things that I have is a doctor's database and I'm going to go ahead and click into this database that I have so that we can uh, find a set of records here and I can show you uh, what I mean on why I need the mapping. I won't dwell on this part of it too long because the, it's not the actual lesson. But I've got uh, this database here and it contains maps and the information on the maps that came with the database that I got, uh, this information was very, very inaccurate. So what I had to do is I had to uh, geocode these uh, map points so that the map point would actually end up where it belongs, not somewhere halfway across the state where it used to be. So let me uh, bring in my screen a little bit. I've got my resolution set really bad here. So yeah, there we go. So anyway, you can see that uh, from here, uh, I've got a lot of other places around it. And as I zoom out on the map, then uh, when I first got this database, you could zoom out and you wouldn't get hardly any map points. And now, uh, because I'm geocoding these over a period of time, it's giving me map points that are much more spread out. So anyway, uh, enough of this, so we'll get off of that. And uh, anyway, my mapping uh, program has gone to the point to where it's going to take a very, very long time in order to uh, track all of this information. So I've written myself a little report card page that uses a lot of this math to tell me uh, certain things, like how many records I have left in the database, which is a million two hundred, uh, million one hundred sixty-seven thousand two fifty-eight. How many of them I've successfully geocoded so far, and how many more I have to geocode. Uh, this is not really math, this is just counting rows in a table, and I made a, a video about that a while back. But there's, uh, where the math comes in is I wanted to know how far along I was with this thing, percentage of completion. Uh, this cron job that runs the geocoder runs every 15 minutes, and how many more of those do I have to run? Uh, and I know I have to run 6708. And how often they're every 15 minutes, that's not a part of the database, but how many days left in the in the cycle is 70 days, uh, and this many hours, and I've got how many run per cycle, how many run per day, how many run per week, month, and how often is a record updated? A record is updated once every 5.84 seconds. Well, uh, yeah, I could just figure a lot of this out on a calculator, but I'm allowed to do 15,000 records a day and what happens if I get another project between now and 70 days, which I'm sure I will, where I need to use geocoding and I have to turn this off? Well, then I'd have to recalculate everything. Plus, it's really nice to be able to just click onto a page and say, oh, wow, this is exactly where I stand here. You know, I'm exactly this far complete. And in fact, uh, we crossed a 15 minute bridge here. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh, and you'll see that I was 13% complete with. Uh, 6708 cycles, now I'm 13.01% complete. So let's get into the code that it takes to put all of this together and then I'll do a couple of simple math things as well. Uh, I've got a script here and this is the script that runs that page right there. It's called geostats.php and everything's echoed out here in the actual HTML. You, you can see where I had the number there, and then I've got uh, PHP echo count one, echo count this, echo that. And then here's where I'm echoing my calculations here. So let's get into how these calculations work. First of all, if you're just doing uh, basic math, which is addition, subtraction, things of that nature, uh, it's pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just do a basic thing on the bottom here. What we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, Let's see, sum equals, and uh, you have four operators. You have plus, minus, addition, subtraction, and I'm sure you're pretty familiar with those. If you just want to do a basic uh, 
sum equals let's let's just say sum equals one, uh, just just to get this thing fired up, and then we're going to echo sum. and put that together, save that up, and send it up to the server. Okay, and then we go back to that page, and I should have a sum equals one at the bottom. Yep, there's my one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, uh, how you would come about making uh, your mathematical equation and then how you can put it in variables. So uh, what we're going to do here is sum e equals, let's say sum equals 1 plus 1. You start with something just really simple. All right, let's save that, send it back up. Okay, find my cursor here. And then when we refresh the page, we should have 2. And there you have it. And the same works with division and multiplication uh, as well. Uh, you can do things like, uh, let's say, 85 divided by 2. And uh, anyway, these, these are pretty simple numbers. And I'm not going to take up too much of the video doing a whole lot of the uh, uploading and then refreshing the page. You get the idea of what's happening here. But what if you want to use uh, a variable in the sum? That's where it gets a little bit more uh, interesting. And I'm going to go up here to how I've constructed the variables that I've used in my report card page. And pardon my report card page, it looks ugly because there's only about 70 days left on it. And once, it's, once it hits zero, it's gone and out of there. So I've got my rows here and I've got my counts. And now I need to get to the point to where I want to uh, create percentages. So uh, what I'm creating here and what I'm doing this one for is a percent of how much has been, uh, how much of my database is in use. And uh, hang on. Yeah, actually I've got two percentages and this particular percent is telling me how much of my uh, database is complete. So I know that count two up here as count two is where I have completed geo records that I'm counting. So these are count two, this is row count two, and what I'm doing is I'm dividing that by row count one, which is how many records are the total number of records in the database. So uh, actually yeah okay uh, that actually needs to be divided by something else Wow, I just realized that I, I'm dividing it by the the uh, wrong particular thing to know exactly how many records in my database are done so I'm gonna go ahead and change that right now but anyway when I divide count uh, 2 by count 4 let me make sure that uh, yeah count 4 is what I wanted for the division when I divide count 2 by count 4, then I get a number. And now I have to multiply that by 100 because it's going to be a decimal point. It's like, going to be like uh, 0.13 or something like that. And I need to know, you know, I need to reflect it as 13%. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking percent equals count 2 divided by count 4, and then I'm multiplying it by 100 so it will display properly. This gives me the percentage of records that I've completed on my uh, server. Let me uh, go ahead and move these files around. I'll get right back. Okay, yeah, so I've uploaded the file and changed that around and made sure it works, and it does. And it's actually 11%, not 13%, which makes more sense when I look at the numbers. So anyway, uh, you can determine a percentage like this. And then uh, I use the number format, which I've done in my count videos. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you might want to go back and look at it. The number format is a native PHP format that formats numbers. Instead of getting this long string of uh, uh, 5.84248656228090707, blah, 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 uh, you can set the number of decimal points, etc. So if you take your result, which 
in this case is percent count two divided by count four times a hundred and then I take percent equals number format and then the first argument is what I'm changing which is percent up here and then comma and the second argument is how many decimal points I would like for it to have and it will round to the nearest decimal point uh, after the two so if it's uh, say one point uh, one eight nine you're gonna get one point nine etc so anyway uh, let's go back to the page here where this displays from and then that tells me that the geocoding process is eleven point five two percent complete so this is echoed out on the page down below here uh, because now I've created this formula that's percent and this percent gives me a number that changes as the numbers in the database change as well and so down here I have uh, percent right here and uh, the geocoding process is and then in my PHP block my little miniature PHP block I have echo percent from above complete uh, that can be a small C by the way uh, so I'm X number percent complete and this number changes all the time so then you go on down and there are uh, other things that I'm doing remaining cycles uh, let me explain that to you remaining cycles equals count one which is a count of uh, unrecorded geocode records divided by the variable of CPC all right I'm getting a little little too far with that now CPC is cycles uh, per or, or no uh, codes per record or something like that updates per record some uh, or, or per cycle so every 15 uh, codes per 15 minute cycle yeah gee I should have read my notes right codes for per 15 minute cycle so every 15 minutes I'm running 154 codes I can run 15,000 a day so 154 gives me you know a, a pretty good number with a little bit of leftover there now when I want to know the codes per hour that's CPC times four since it's 15 minutes and there's four of those in an hour codes per day is going to be CPH which is codes per hour times 24 and then I go down the line codes per week is daily times seven codes per month is daily times 30 and codes per minute is uh, just basically codes per cycle divided by the uh, the time of the cycle which is 15 minute cycle and that be that gives me the codes per minute and I've done number formats on all of these and you'll notice that I've changed the number format here from the CPD instead of being CPD I've uh, appended the one to it to make it CPD one and the reason for that is if you're doing other calculations on the CPD and you change it to a number format it will kind of mess up your you know your output so you want to do CP CPD one for your output and use the raw data for any further calculations as you can see we're doing further calculations down the line here and uh, and that's pretty much it on that now uh, when you do for example I've done remaining days remaining days equals count one divided by count per day so I know count one equals how many records I have left and uh, well I said count per day I meant codes per day it's number of cycles until complete uh, no that was a cut and paste number number of days this is irrelevant so I'm going to take it out it's the number of days left uh, taking the total number of records divided by the number of records per day that are produced and this is where I'm doing a mathematical equation on the CPD that I explained above and if I was doing that on the CPD one it would come out with a uh, an undesirable result so I have remaining days remaining hours uh, and uh, now let me get into another one that's kind of interesting the number of records per second so I take this number here the number of records per second and uh, or number of seconds it takes for a record I take this and that's uh, codes per cycle 
divided by 900 because there's 900 seconds in a cycle. Then I take, that's the result there. So what I do is I take and make a new variable based on 1 divided by the result of this. And that counts how many seconds and fractions of a second. Then I do uh, REC time equals number format of this time here plus I've done the decimal of 2. Uh, and, and that gives me, and I'll go back to the other page and explain. Capacity equals uh, CPD, that's uh, codes per day, uh, divided by 1500. And you might remember up ahead, or up above a little earlier, I, I discussed how I had to take the percentage and multiply it by 100. Uh, in this case, I'm using a raw number that's a variable that I know I, it's not a variable. It's at an actual number of 15,000 records per day that I uh, can do. So that's 150,000, isn't it? Yeah. So I know I can do 15,000. So uh, instead of making it multiple of 100, I'm just going to uh, do 150. But that could be a multiple of 100 to give me the uh, the well formatted number that I need for percentages. And capacity number format uh, is capacity with two decimal places because I want to know, you know, am I using 98.1% or am I using 98.8%? What am I using? And then I've got a balance. This is a balance of records that I have, I'm not geocoding in the course of a day. And that equals this flat number of 15,000 and that I referenced before, and that's minus codes per day. So the total number of codes per day is calculated by taking this number, this uh, times this number, times this number, and I've got the total number of codes per day. But I also need each of those individually, or I could structure the thing uh, down below like uh, something like this. Uh, codes per day, I would do string codes per day times, you know, this times that, but we don't want to go ahead and do that. Uh, this video is getting long enough as it is. So this is how you do basic math functions. Uh, you just simply do the plus, minus, divide, multiply, and uh, you can do that on strings. You can do that on raw numbers. Uh, you can do strings divided by strings, or variables divided by variables. And uh, you can do variables divided by solid numbers. And uh, either way works well. Let's see where I've got a variable divided by. OK, yeah, right here. Count 1 divided by uh, codes per count, uh, codes per cycle. Count 1 divided by codes per day. Count 1 divided by codes per hour. So this is a variable divided by a variable. Uh, you can do a solid number divided by a solid number as well. But the beauty of doing variables divided by variables is, as we go back to this page here, uh, all of your numbers can update as things are going along. Like I said, what you know? Don't worry about this because this is going to be gone as soon as this project is over. It's just to kind of keep me informed. But now we'll see that the 11.52 percent is going to rise. This is going to go up by 154 records, and this is going to time is going to drop a little bit, and the cycles is going to come down to 67.06. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page now and all of that should take place. And this thing has to run through a lot of records. OK, so this record has increased. This has increased. This has come down once. Uh, this has moved a little bit. And everything has pretty much changed. So that's a very long, drawn out video about how you do basic math. And I hope this has helped you. And. Uh, I should probably do some shorter ones as well. Thanks.